Morning everybody and welcome to our morning prayer on Friday the 30th of April. And um, you may be wondering why we have the guests. Um, well, I remember when I started obviously our morning prayers and, and online services, I, I had the growing number of um, TEDs as part of the congregation. And uh, I, I was mindful, I've not done that for a, a long time, uh, and I'm equally mindful, somebody commented the other day about how barren my background was looking uh, as I started to pack things, uh, as obviously we get ready to, to leave the parish. So they, these guys have not been packed, uh, surprisingly. Um, actually, they're going to find a new home. So if you know anybody who would like two big teddies, uh, then do let me know and we're giving them away uh, free. Uh, but I thought they could join me for morning prayer to uh, add to the congregation and to fill in the sparse backgrounds a little bit uh, as well. So we're going to use daily prayer, uh, just the normal liturgy that you'll find from the Church of England in any of their apps or any other medium. So, O Lord, open our lips, that our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt, and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. So Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So the night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our psalm, um, we've got Psalm 33, uh, Psalm 33. Uh, it's a bit long. Oh, we'll cope. Uh, I'll do the psalm, but without the refrain. So Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for it is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with a lyre, on the ten-stringed harp sing his praise. Sing for him a new song, play skillfully with shouts of praise. For the word of the Lord is true and all his works are sure. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the loving kindness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. He gathers up the waters of the sea as in a water skin and lays up the deep in his treasury. Let all the earth fear the Lord, stand in awe of him, all who dwell in the world. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to naught. He frustrates the designs of the peoples. For the counsel of the Lord shall endure forever, and the designs of his heart from generation to generation. Happy the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people he has chosen for his own. The Lord looks down from heaven and beholds all the children of the earth. From where he sits enthroned, he turns his gaze on all who dwell on the earth. He fashions all the hearts of them, and understands all their works. No king is saved by the might of his host. No warrior delivered by his great strength. A horse is a vain hope for deliverance, but all its strength cannot save. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon those who fear him, on those who wait in hope for his steadfast love. 
to deliver their soul from death and to feed them in time of famine. Our soul waits. Oh, I've lost my place. Hang on. <laughs> Here we go. Our soul waits longingly for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Indeed, our heart rejoices in him. In his holy name have we put our trust. Let your loving kindness, O Lord, be upon us, as we have set our hope on you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So our Old Testament text is Deuteronomy 12, 1 to 14. But I'm going to skip the Old Testament. And we will dive into, and I'll skip the canticle, but our New Testament is Ephesians 6, 1 to 9. Ephesians 6, 1 to 9. Oh, this is always a good start. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honour your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise so that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. And parents, just when you think you've got away with it. And fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, in singleness of heart as you obey Christ. Not only while being watched, and in order to please them, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Render service with enthusiasm as to the Lord and not to men and women, knowing that whatever good we do, we will receive the same again from the Lord, whether we are slaves or free. And masters, do the same to them. Stop threatening them. For you know that both of you have the same master in heaven, and with him there is no partiality. Well, I'm going to let you reread that one and allow the Holy Spirit to prompt and poke as needed. For death is swallowed up in victory, where of death is your sting. Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Shall we pray? Um, I'm going to catch up with some prayers from the Allen Chapel. Um, of course, I, I kind of read them and anonymise them as seems appropriate. Um, so let's pray. Lord, we pray for the family who miss Bessie, I'm guessing sadly passed away. And so Lord, we pray for the children and all the family that miss her. Lord, would you comfort them with a comfort that they've never felt before from others. Lord, something that is enveloping and all embracing as they miss mum. Father, embrace them and draw them close to you, we pray. Lord, for others who we know who grieve the loss of somebody who's passed away, either recently or in former years, we name them before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for, I think it's somebody who has lost um, a pet, but I could be wrong. But Father, you know their grief and their loss, as they've just referred to that by name, but I'm not going to name their, uh, their fair baby, uh, which could well be their, um, their pet. And Lord, for us, it feels like our children sometimes, but we don't have kids, but we do have dogs. And we know what it's like to lose one of our family. 
And Lord, we pray for this person also who is missing the loss of their family. Would you bring them comfort and strength this day? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, this person just says nanny. Lord, and I thank you that you know who nanny is and you know who wrote this. And we pray that you would be with the individual who wrote that. May they have an, a, a sense and an awareness of you somehow this day and the rest of this week. May they know that they have been heard by you, O oh Lord, I pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, this is for somebody called George, who is clearly unwell and not very old by the looks of it. Lord, we pray for them, that you would be with them. Whatever it is that's going on, whatever this illness is or condition, Father, we pray for them. Lord, that you would give all those who are looking after George real wisdom and insight as to what is the best course of action for them to recover. We pray also in your grace and mercy that you would meet with them by the power of your Holy Spirit to heal and to restore. And for others who we know who are sick or struggling in any way, Lord, we name them before you now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we give you thanks for this gran on her 90th birthday. I think it's literally just two days ago. Um, Father, thank you for all those years. And we pray that you would be with her. We thank you for the life and experience that she has and for the family who clearly care for her. Father, be with her and the family as they celebrate that day. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. I'm, I'm not entirely sure on this one, but Lord, we give you thanks for the one who wrote this, that Lord, you know them, and may they know you. Amen. And this one just writes the name Laura. Father, I thank you that you know Laura. You know what's going on. You know the circumstance, the situation. <coughs> I think all you sometimes need is just for us to cry out. And even if it's just a name, and that's enough. So Lord, we hold up before you, Laura, and pray that you would be with her, meet with her in her need we ask. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, Lord, we continue to pray for our nation, for those who govern us. And we give you thanks for them. Guide them by your Holy Spirit. Give them wisdom and humility. Father, direct us as a nation, particularly in this new season of Brexit. Father, as we come out of the pandemic and all the challenges that lie ahead of us, Father, would you be merciful and would you lead us, we pray. So, Father, other things that weigh heavy on our hearts, be it local, national or international, we bring them before you now. So in confidence, O oh Lord, we leave these, our prayers and our petitions before you. So merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so I collect for this day. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life. 
raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So it looks like it's going to be a glorious day, some warmth, some sunshine. So please do keep safe. Keep close to God in prayer, the study of his word, the enjoyment of his creation. And please do keep in contact with one another. So take care. God bless. Bye bye.